High River RCMP, and their anti-gun dog and pony show. In those situations when they were out in plain view and they were not properly secured and stored, those firearms were taken uh, by the RCMP members and safely secured. Cam Fleury's home was never underwater, yet RCMP kicked in his door and broke into the closet holding his gun safe. They specifically targeted Cam Fleury because he is a gun owner. Why else break into his gun closet? We secured these firearms only for public safety reasons. RCMP definition of public safety. We will kick in your door and steal your private property whenever we feel the urge. Where's Public Safety Minister Vic Taves through all this? Nobody knows. He's 100% missing in action. What about RCMP Commissioner Robert Paulson? He's hiding out somewhere in an undisclosed location. Praying that Sun TV will stop asking questions. The Prime Minister's office saw through the RCMP's lies and openly mocked them. We believe the RCMP should focus on more important tasks, such as protecting lives and private property. Bloggers also got in on the mocking. ChristopherDiArmani.com posted this image. The clowns running the RCMP's High River Gun Confiscation Squad must be fired. Why? Because they broke the law. They broke into people's homes, searched those homes without a warrant, and stole private property. Remember, the Alberta Emergency Act was not invoked until two days after the RCMP issued that press release patting themselves on the back for stealing guns from High River flood victims. Should RCMP Commissioner Paulson climb out from his hiding place, there are still questions for which we mere citizens require answers. 1. Did the RCMP establish which homes likely contained firearms before conducting their searches? 2. Were any firearms seized even though they were stored legally, either in a locked room or safe, with a trigger lock applied, or otherwise disabled? 3. How many firearms were seized? and from how many homes? 4. What were the formal orders given to those RCMP members who conducted these searches? And most importantly, 5. Who gave those orders? RCMP Commissioner Robert Paulson is very concerned. If only he were concerned about our rights. But he isn't. He's only concerned that Sun Media and bloggers like me keep demanding answers he refuses to give. Demand answers from Commissioner Robert Paulson Prime Minister Stephen Harper, Premier Allison Redford, your local MP, your Alberta MLA. Demand the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms be respected by the RCMP, and that those who violated it in High River, Alberta, be fired. <laughs>